This is the seventh grade TCAP practice test uh, for math. This is question number 18. Uh, I was going to use the board like I've been doing for some of the other videos, but I really couldn't figure out a good way to talk about it without just showing you what they're asking you to do here. This is kind of a weird question. A cube has a volume of 512 cubic centimeters. It shows you that SA, which is surface area, equals 6 times e, to the e squared, and volume equals e to the third power. If the volume is, if the cube is completely covered with wrapping paper, what is the minimum amount of paper needed to cover all six, six faces? Now let's talk about what they're actually asking you to do here. Now when we talk about volume versus surface area, we're going to use this little cube here because it's a cube, right? We're talking about volume, we're talking about filling this baby all the way up to the top. So if I poured in a little uh, water there or whatever, so a volume measure, this is uh, Mountain Dew by the way, if I had filled it all the way up, volume would represent how much I just poured in. And now I emptied it. Uh, when we're talking about surface area, we're talking about all the parts. So this is the cube itself. So if we had wrapping paper, this makes the cube, right? So what we want to do is figure out how much of the wrapping paper we need. The where the six comes from is that there's six sides to this cube. Uh, and that E squared thing they're talking about, what they're talking about is E would be the length of the side here. So E squared would be this times this. And if I was doing the area of just one of these babies, so just this square right there, or this one on the end might be easier to show. If I was just showing this, I would do base times height, right? So I have six of them, so I need to do the area of all six. But first things first, we need to figure out how long the side is. And they tell us in order to do that, all I need to do is take the volume and then use uh, and take whatever the cube root is. So it's this time e times e times e, or side length times side length times side length. And it'll give me the volume that I'm looking for. So I'm going to rewrite that formula out a little bit nicer. And I'm kind of annoyed with myself for getting my paper all wet, but I did want to show you what the difference between volume and surface area was e to the third power. You can use really any variable here, it's fine. Uh, they tell me that the volume is 512 cubic centimeters. I'm going to try to raise this piece of paper up just a little bit so that you can see it. I have weird glares in this room. So the volume itself is 512. So I need to figure out how to get rid of that to the third power thing. There's a couple things I can do because I said that it was really just side times side times side. Now you could go through and just try different side lengths. If you did 4 times 4 times 4, it gives you 64, so that's not it. Uh, so let's double that and say 8 times 8 times 8. Da da da, da 512. So we should know that E is, my pen's dying. 500, or E is equal to 8, because I know that 8 times 8 times 8 gives me the 512 I'm looking for. If you'd rather not go that direction, you want to use that uh, the cube here, E to the third power, I'm going to use what's called the cube root. It's kind of like the square root, except in this case, square roots would be two dimensions, cube roots are three. And you can do that on the TI-30X by using this button right here. It's kind of hard to see. Sorry about the blurriness of the camera. It's the second and the one over the little caret button. The first thing you need to do is type in what uh, dimension you're using. And we said it was to the third dimension. I'm going to type in three. This thing has a three, so we're going to use a three. Then you hit second, hit that up button there, and you get that little x to the root thing. So it shows you that it's whatever root you just pressed in. And then you type in 512, hit enter, and it gives you eight. Now what we want to do is figure out how much pa wrapping paper we need to cover the whole thing. And I'm going to change pens here. I thought that thin pen would work really well. It did not. Um, now we're going to need to figure out wrapping paper. So we need to think about this. Now if we know the side length of one side, this side here, is 8. To find each individual one how much paper I would need for one side, I do 8 times 8. So I'm going to do surface area equals 6 times e squared, or in this case it's 8 squared, or 8 times 8, which is of course 64. That would be the amount I would need to cover one of these, but there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. 
So I'm going to do 64 times 6, 384. So I'm going to look up here, 384 square centimeters. And it should be square centimeters because we have just a bunch of squares. Not really that difficult. You can use the formulas if you already grasp the concept, but I wanted to show you exactly what they are asking you to do. Basically, volume talks about three dimensions. It talks about how much it takes to go from here to here, here to here, and up and down. So if it's three dimensions, you need to use the cube root or just work it out that way. That one worked out pretty easily. If you're doing surface area, you're just doing one little part. So I only need this times this. So that's why it's squared. So I hope it's helpful and uh, good luck.